Welcome back people, we've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. We are here fishing in Florida, Everglades. So we can get free clover coins from here and we can also get our cat bait from here. So the baby catfish is what's going to catch you these snake heads. There is other types of bait that can catch you these snakes head. But you can even catch these on shiners and large minnows and stuff. But the baby catfish obviously seems to work better. I'm fishing here in Everglades for these northern snakeheads. You can catch them in Blue Crab and many other places as well, not just here. I'm fishing here in Everglades in Florida. One, because I haven't fished here for a long time and I kind of do like it. But at the same time, um, I can get the them baby catfish here as well as that. A few bass and bowfin and stuff like that as well as catching the northern snakehead. But you can also buy clover coins here from the shop as well. And then them clover coins, you can then exchange it for the baby catfish bait, which is what I'm about to show you in a minute. Don't worry, I'm going to show you my rod setups. There's all my rod setups. I'm using Heavy Chaser, the Casador rod, and I'm using a float rod. You don't have to use the same rods as me. You can get away with about a 25 pound setup rod and you will be able to catch these northern snake heads because the biggest I've caught is 20 pound and a half. Um, go up to this, hit Y, and you can then purchase these baby catfish. So that's pretty cool that you can do that. Anytime there is updates on this game, for St. Patrick's Day, I just made tons of different separate videos. I did favor uh, to do the missions on the St. Patrick's Day. There's favor one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to put all of those videos on the channel. Also, get in the jacket as well. You have to catch 150 snake heads to get the jacket and 17 bait coins, which that video will be coming probably after this video. I gotta catch 150 of those fish, so it is gonna take me a little short minute, but I'm fishing down at the bottom here. I'll show you on the on the map here in Everglades, down at the bottom there, as you can see, it's lit up in orange, there's my guy. Anytime I do live streams, I'll always use face cam and mic. Anytime I make videos like this, I just hit record because it's a lot quicker. Today, I'm showing you how to catch the snakehead very easy. I didn't make any cuts or edits into this video because I wanted to show you real time how long it's taken me to catch these fish. And I do catch them pretty quick. You can also get the golden stringer as you can see here. The golden stringer, you have to do the boat race in Emerald Lake, which I made a video on that. You could check that one out if anyone's interested. These missions here, all of St. Patrick's Day I'm, I've done, apart from this one here, which I'm in the process of doing right now. That video will be coming after this one. There's also going to be an update this week as well. So um, keep an eye out for the update a new update amazon maze brazil hello big man oh you joined how's it going <laughs> i'm just making a video i'll be with you in a sec man all right <laughs> i thought i heard you um yeah brighton hove one year i saw you happy about that yeah i know you love football yeah, so um, when these updates do drop, I will be doing a live stream face cam and mic showing you how and where to catch new unique fish, um, doing all the missions, the new missions. I've completed all normal missions and all fish monster missions on Fishing Planet. You can check out across the channel. Them videos are there. We also now have memberships as well. So if you want to support us, you can hit the link in the description below to become a member. If not, by at least clicking that subscribe button, share my content. Helps me grow as a content creator. Oh, well, I couldn't talk then. And dropping a like also lets us know you're still enjoying Fishing Planet. Hope these videos are helping you. If you've got any comments, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll try and get back to you guys as quick as I can. I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel. So it does take me a bit of time sometimes to reply. So do bear with me. But I do try and reply back to everyone. I've noticed that using the hook hash free slash zero seems to work the best. So that's what I've been I've been using when these updates drop whether it's a new lake or updates like this i normally drop two videos every single day today i've actually dropped three videos um so yeah they you might not always get all the notifications for those because obviously i'm set pushing out too many videos in one day youtube don't always show that that i'm pushing that out so you can always follow me I always tweet on Twitter whenever I'm doing a live stream or pushing out videos and also Instagram. So on Instagram, it is YT Bubbles Way. You can follow me on there. I always post on there. And Twitter, I always post on there, which is um, Bubbles underscore my way on Twitter. So if you want to follow me on either one, you're more than welcome. And then that way you'll never miss out on a live stream on the new updates on this game. When them updates come, I'm always going to try and show you the best new hotspots, how to catch those new fish, new tackle rods and reels and more stuff that fish and planet has to offer 
Catching these snakeheads though has been pretty good fun. So far I've only caught 15, so I've got an insane amount to catch. I've got obviously 150. By the time I get to the 120-ish mark, I'm probably going to be thinking this is going on forever. But I am catching them at a pretty fast pace, and these, they do look pretty good. They look, they, yeah, they look like a nice fish. I actually do, do like kind of catching these because it's a St. Patrick's Day as well. As I said, I did do all the other missions, all the favor missions to get clover coins and by catching rowdy bass and the lep fish gets you bait coins. So if you're after bait coins, check out some of those other videos that I posted today and yesterday and since this update's dropped. Yeah, check out some of those other videos. A good way to, to get tons of bait coins. On the other hand, I've been casting here, as you can see where I've been casting to the lily pads, around anywhere between 45-ish 40, feet, 45 feet to around about 50, 60 foot, seems to be working quite well. I've been casting in the same spot over and over, and um, I've been using that stringer. But you don't have to use the golden stringer if you don't want to do the mission. You can just catch them without you getting that golden stringer without doing the boat race. You can still catch these these fish. But I'm just showing you this way because at this precise minute of me doing this recording, I'm actually trying to grind out to get 150 of those snake heads. So that way I can get the jacket, get the 17 bait coins and show you guys as well. Um... Obviously me completing the mission and putting that video on there and as I said, hopefully that video will be coming straight after this one I'm gonna be grinding this game out putting many many hours into it and with a bit of luck I can get that done, but I'm looking forward to the update that's coming this week, which should be an update uh, of Amazon maze in Brazil Catching sharks if you guys are interested in that Make sure you are subscribed. That's going to be absolutely awesome. I'm going to be catching sharks, showing you new hot, uh, hot spots, how to catch fish fast, where to catch fish, doing the missions. And obviously there, there's going to be a new level cap as well. To get into a new lake, you're going to have to be level 68. And to get to max level is now going to be level 70. So I'm going to be grinding it out, getting to level 70. Obviously, I'm going to be buying the DLC to show you guys. I always give my honest opinion whether I think the DLC is worth it or not. Um, I'm not sponsored by Fishing Planet in any sort of way. So every time I ever buy these DLCs, I always just try and be completely honest. I've been playing this game for nearly five years. So within them five years of me playing, I always be honest any time I'm buying a DLC... I'm honest whether I think it's worth my money. Some some of the DLCs that I've brought or that I've seen, to be honest, are not really worth it and they're not very good. But that's only some. They're not all bad. There is actually some really good DLCs out there. Like uh, the Blue Crab Island DLC is a little bit expensive but really, really good. Also, the Maroon River is a very good DLC as well. Unfortunately, you only get to, um, to fish in that lake for seven days once you buy the um, pack, which is unfortunate. But within those seven days, you can easily get to a high enough level so you're still able to fish in that place. Really good DLC. There's quite a few other good DLCs, like I did uh, the Sportsman Pack DLC. I've made a video on that. I also did the... Um, I think it was the Golden Pack as well. Yeah, I did the Golden Pack as a video as well as a DLC. So you can check those out as well. But again, if you don't want to spend money on this game, this game is free. You can play this game. My dad's been playing just as long as I have, and he's only ever once brought one DLC, which was for Maroon River, because I told him if he didn't buy it himself, I was going to buy it for him. That's the first DLC he's ever got. He's max level, and that was the very first DLC he got. And it was funny, because when he was fishing there, at first he didn't actually like it. Uh, them seven days he fished there one or two days of there and he didn't want to fish there and then after the it ran out and he leveled up he went back there again and he absolutely loved it so <laughs> that's just that's just the way it goes sometimes I guess but yeah you can get to max level without ever spending any money on this game I do again not sponsored by Fishing Planet but I do recommend buying premium even now I'm max level buying premium Rank's not too important to me because I play on PlayStation as well as I'm playing on PC. So rank's not that important to me. But getting that cash is always important to me because when those updates drop, I need to show you guys those new rods and reels and new other things that you're you're able to, to catch and show 
different stuff and you know it costs a lot of money to make those videos so because it takes a lot of money I've always got to be on the grind and the easiest way for me to be on the grind is by having premium by having premiums giving me that extra XP and that extra cash so if you guys are after faster XP faster cash you can do that always use barbless hooks just another little tip I'm going to throw in there Barbless Hooks gives you that 10% extra XP, even without premium. Using Barbless Hooks gives you more XP. So if you're after XP, that's probably the best thing to do. In this video, obviously I haven't. I've just used the hook hash free slash zero. But if you use the Barbless Hook hash free slash zero, as I said, 10% extra XP. So I'm going to end the video there. I hope you guys did enjoy it. This was a video of me catching some of the um, Northern Snakehead showing you guys how to do it. Any comments, leave in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can. If you want to become a member, click the link in the description below. If not, subscribe, share this content, drop a like if you're still enjoying Fish and Planet videos. Hope you guys are. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.